Well, here we are. Week two of the NFL season has wrapped up. I'm glad a lot of y'all decided to, you know, just be like, hey, I'm going to watch this PLL championship recap video, but not like it or watch it longer than 30 seconds. But that's okay. It's perfectly fine. What we what we got to go over here is uh, week two of the NFL season. I think things went a little crazy. They went a, you know, for the most part, things were crazy for the most part. You're talking Chargers Chiefs was interesting in the fact that I, I don't know what it is about Patrick Mahomes and company that just, you know, just does things to people. But, man, it's, it's hard to hate the Chiefs. It's really hard to hate the Chiefs when they put up on an entertaining performance like this. And unfortunately for Justin Herbert and company, despite the fact that Justin Herbert, you know, was resilient, I mean, man's, man's ribs were pretty much shattered. It ended up being the Chiefs that won this game anyway in a close one. 27-24. Um, Patriots did beat the Steelers, which, I mean, I, I should be surprised because this is the Steelers, but... Uh, this game's this game's pretty pretty interesting. I'll, I'll tell you that much right now. I did I watched this game yesterday. Um, yeah, the Patriots delivered when when it mattered. Uh, the Giants are two and zero, which is very surprising to me. Then again, the Panthers just you know I I don't know what it is about the Panthers that just it's. Just, like, even with Baker Mayfield now, you know, I, I don't know what it is. But the Giants are 2-0, and which is very surprising to me. Like, you don't see that every day. Not in the modern era of the NFL, you know, the Giants being 2-0. and You don't see that every day. Uh, some other games I didn't expect. The Jags shut out the Colts. Matt Ryan didn't do anything out there. We're talking Trevor Lawrence and company actually shut out the Colts. Like, that's wild. And the Jets beat the Browns, which is also wild considering the Browns had a 30-17 to lead. And yet, they let the Browns, or rather, they let the Jets come back with a minute and 55 seconds remaining. How do you let Joe Flacco do this to y'all? Joe Flacco. That that Joe Flacco. How do you let this happen? It's, it's, un, it's unmistakable. And then you had, you know... Tua and Jalen Waddle just torching the Ravens defense in which I thought the Ravens were going to blow out the Dolphins and they had to turn this game right back on and I'm sitting here like why why what's going on with the Ravens defense like Lamar is playing lights out Lamar is playing lights out you know Devin DuVernay had a kick return touchdown to open things up what's going on out here and then you realize the Dolphins even the Dolphins defense decided to play Shut them down in the second half. They shut they shut the Ravens down in the second half, and that offense was able to get it going. I mean, two of tossing six touchdowns, like, bruh, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean th this this cutback was crazy? If you didn't see uh, Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore get into it again. It ultimately ended up not mattering because Jameis Winston turned the ball over too much. That Bucks defense was just too much. I mean, once Brady threw the one touchdown he did throw, it was a wrap. And the Bucks beat the Saints, so Brady's conquered his demons for, you know, during his time in the Buffalo. Or not Buffalo, Tampa Bay. I don't know. We'll talk about Buffalo in a minute, but he's conquered his demons out in New Orleans. You know, uh, you know, I thought this game was going to be really, really boring at first because I mean, it was three, three, three for the longest time. Like nobody was getting anything going. You know, nobody was moving on offense. Both teams were in a stalemate, and yet the Bucks were able to come out with it. The Lions also beat the Commanders, which again, very surprising. Yeah, the score is a lot closer than the game actually indicated because the Commanders decided to try and come back. But the Lions were blowing out Washington. I don't know what it is that Dan Campbell is doing out there, but he's got he's got the it factor out there, considering like the, the seasons the Lions have had, you know, over the past few years, and that that is just good stuff right there. You, you know, you don't expect 
guys like Jared Goff to be doing too much, and yet they, they did what they needed to do on Sunday. 49ers, despite the fact that you know Trey Lance did get injured, he's done for the year. They beat the Seahawks pretty easily, so that's kind of more of what we expected out of the Seahawks. Nothing really going well for them. You know, just bad juju all around for them. Uh, the Rams, they they had to get Jalen Ramsey to end this game with them and the Falcons because the Rams had a 28-3 lead and all of a sudden the Falcons came back again. I don't I don't know what it is, you know, about the Falcons blowing games in spectacular fashions, but they did exactly that once again. Uh, the Broncos, the Texans, nothing really to say there. Broncos do need to figure out a way to get into the end zone a little bit more. And then, you know, uh, the Cardinals beat the Ravens. Byron Murphy, man, with that hit on Hunter Renfro. Again, I don't know what it is about the Cardinals. Now, I said yesterday in, I think it was Discord, where I said, you know, maybe Kyler Murray isn't worth all this money. Maybe he's not. But then again, this Cardinals team needs Kyler Murray, you know. Like, the Cardinals, they were looking like they were about to get blown out again, and yet, you know, the Raiders in the second half just couldn't do, you know, as much damage. Yeah, you got the card, the Devontae Adams connection and everything like that, but what about the what about the Raiders' defense? What about that defense? They couldn't stop Justin Herbert the week before, and now they're giving Kyler Murray, like, 30 seconds in the pocket to make some passes. Like, this is not good stuff right there about a Raiders defense. Not good stuff at all, you know. So, the Byron Murphy hit on Hunter Renfro was absolutely amazing. Crazy stuff to end that game. And I really thought for a long while we were going to get under the tie. I really thought that. Wild stuff. Uh, the Cowboys under Cooper Rush at quarterback. Yeah, Cooper Rush is 2-0 and as a starter. Does this mean anything? Uh, for, you know, the future between, you know, Dak and is he going to, you know, like some people are saying that, some pe some Cowboys fans are saying that, I don't believe that really means anything at all. Cowboys defense was resilient, Michael Parsons, you know, just doing his thing out there, Javon Diggs also, you know, not, you know, shying away against Jamar Chase and company, not just shying away. That, that O-line for the Bengals, though, they cannot protect Joe Burrow to save his life. Like, man's is on pace to have like 90 sacks given up against it. Something's got to give for the Bengals. They got to get something. Yeah, the Cowboys kind of stalled out in the second half, but, you know, no excuses here. The Bengals got to get some offensive line work because they were getting dominated, you know, for most of this game. And then the last three games, the the last three primetime games were really nothing special. Um, but the Bills, they said, nah, we not let Derrick Henry run all over us. And Derrick Henry's been a non-factor two straight weeks. I know, that's wild, right? That's wild. And you can get Josh Allen just out here just flexing on teams. Mans might win the MVP if things continue to go the way things be going. Because, I mean, the Bills, their defense was legit tonight. That defense put the Titans in a coffin. And then you have the Eagles, they beat the Vikings. Uh, another crazy stat. I mean, we're talking Jalen Hurts was 10 for 10 at one point. 10 for 10, a deep pass, you know, for 80 yards at one point too for a touchdown. I mean, this Eagles defense was relentless. Justin Jefferson didn't do anything tonight. Like, you, you, you think... You'd think he would have a catch, but I don't know if he had a catch or not. Because, I mean, Kirk Cousins is throwing interceptions. And then, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon. I mean, that that Packers offense is looking like it's clicking. Yeah, yeah we kind of overreacted a little bit last week, but they, they're clicking. They're clicking against the Bears team that just lost out there. They had to go out a shotgun on fourth down and go. Or it was like fourth and one, and they went out a shotgun for some reason. Like, Come on now. Come on, Bears. So, yeah, the Bears looking like they're back to normal, which is not very good. But in any case, I think week two, uh, you know, I think for the most part, you know, like the bizarre stuff kind of, you know, kind of got, kind of got outplayed by, you know, the, 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 um, 
the results that weren't as interesting. You know, you know, Sunday was wild. You know, at least you know the Sunday afternoon games were wild, but everything else. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, Herbert and Mahomes had a thriller, but these primetime games were not it. <laughs> they were not it tonight and last night. Not it at all. Uh, again, somebody had to step up this week. We knew somebody was going to have to step up, and a lot of teams, you know, some teams were more resilient than others. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo's playing again, so now we have a reason to. We'll talk about Jimmy Garoppolo again because he's actually playing. But I mean, it's for a you know, and there were multiple injuries that were really gruesome this week as well. That's praise to all those, or rather, yeah, uh, hopefully, all those players you know are okay. I mean, there was some there was some bad injuries this weekend, especially tonight. I mean, my goodness, man, uh, I don't know, but in any case, uh, that's week two and week three. We get it going again Thursday. We get it going again. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting week three. I'll tell you that much right now because I mean a lot of things are up in the air, you know, regarding week three. You know, um, I believe Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore are suspended, or at least Mike Evans is for a game. But Lattimore and that big fight, you know, again that fight was wild, man. Crazy stuff right there. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what in the world happened at this point because it was just, it, it's it's a nonsense. I, I, how do you let this happen? But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care.